everybody and welcome along to the next episode of the Williams career uh, today for the sprint race of Imola now today we're gonna have no bottles well I have no no bottles at all last time out I trusted twitch chat I forgot that some people in chat had run a prediction against a good result and were not wishing me well and I, I went for what chat chat said it was wrong so lesson learned on my behalf. Ignore chat sometimes. Uh, but yeah, no no bottles today. Also two break career. Didn't go the best recently either. Um, no no major huge bottles. All, all kind of relatively minor mistakes. I'm not having like massive crashes or anything like that. It's just all minor mistakes. They're all building up on me. No more today. Two races today. Sprint race weekend. We need to keep ourselves in the championship fight. We can't keep getting these lowly results. We need to be right near the front. Our car is not going to be competitive for the whole season. We really need to be hoovering up these points while the car is competitive. Let's get into it. Uh, we've got 1,500 resource points. We have got an upgrade due. It's a major energy store. That one will go on uh, in theory in time for Imola. Well, let's look if we've got any performance upgrades. We haven't got many left. So we've got these two downforce upgrades. We've got a weight redistribution, which should just make the car feel a bit better, which might be good for Monaco. Tire wear, we can't afford that anyway, but I wouldn't want that for Monaco. Got nothing we can do to the powertrain. Durability, we have still got this, but I'm really not that bothered about that. And I think there's still... I know that's it. It's not worth it. That's control electronics. And the control electronics... Look, I mean, they're only 12% worn. I've got another one. So I'm honestly not bothered about that at all. Uh, in which case, it's performance upgrade time. So I think I'll go for this... Then hope before Monaco that I've got enough resource points to do the rear downforce as well. So major weight redistribution. We're not going to rush it because I believe in it. I believe in it to not fail on us. Now I hope we've got on time for, for Monaco. That'll be the last one of those we're allowed to do. Anyway, uh, let's give some time here there, guys. This energy store reliability. wouldn't mind that. Uh, energy stores. Yeah, one of only two parts. We're not major for it, but it would certainly help. Please be green. Yeah, lovely. Oh, bit of rain in practice, but none in the sprint or the, the... Look, both practices have got some rain. Qualified sprint and race have got none by the looks of it. Yeah, there's an outside chance of a little bit of rain in the feature. But realistically, yeah, not going to happen. So it should be dry all the sessions that matter. But the sessions to practice in, wet. Uh, has anyone had any upgrades? No? Not, not, not none that matter. We've got Alpha Tari having a little upgrade for today. And we've got Haas having a little upgrade for today, but that won't affect us too much. So nothing really has changed. We'll see how our how our car fares in this one. This feels great. There's so much grip. It's going to take me a while to get used to all this grip, to be honest. Uh, there's a Red Bull coming out the pit lane. Hopefully he's clear enough of me. No. No. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Pit lane's so long that we've got easily past him. Right, come on. Let's get a good banker in. Good break later. Eased off the brake slightly mid-braking zone. Then we get up to 8th, down into there. Put me off slightly, but we get through it well enough. Nice, nice, nice. We should be able to do another lap as well, so we'll do two in a row here. 14-8. Okay. Only about a tenth off Hamilton. That's encouraging. Bring in mind, Hamilton will be one of the quickest. I'll probably get traffic on this lap, though. Oh, nice, nice. He gets out of the way. So we have to let AI do that nicely. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. It's not bad, though. Is that going to be enough for pole at the moment? It is. Let's go. Okay. Still a little way to go in this quality. I'll tell you what, if we don't improve our lap, we won't be pole at the end. I can pretty much guarantee you that. With those small margins there, they will they will beat us. Might be safe from Russell, maybe. Probably definitely safe from Leclerc and down. Probably Perez, but definitely Leclerc. They tend to find like, you know, one to three tenths. Right, now we'll cut up a pit exit. We've got the track to ourselves. The world is watching. Not bad through there. Nah, not up though. It's the exit. I've full throttle too much between the turns. Ah! Oh, ha ha! That was such a sweet lap. Ah, oh, that was a good lap, man. That lap was coming together nicely. Felt like I was on the limit there. We go again. We go again. Square off a little bit more. Does that help? Maybe. A bit more spell on the exit. Ah. Oh, I was trying to keep it flat for there. I was always a little bit wide. I tried to keep it flat. It didn't work out. I always look at setup just instinctively, but I don't want to change it. I think that someone else will beat us if we don't improve, so let's push it out. We need a bigger lap. Felt pretty good on the exit. Bit too much curb. We're okay. Ha 
A little bit deep in there, wasn't ideal, but still carry good speed. Car snapping left a little bit on us again. We lost a bit of time there. This is going to be very close. Albon's got second as well. Huge. We need some time though. We need some time for to get pole. It's going to be very close. Are we going to snatch pole? We are. Let's go. That one was close. That one was close. But we do get pole. It was spat everywhere. We do get pole. Let's go. Whew. That one was close. 16 thousandths of a second. But we do get pole. My word. That was a spicy one. Albon up there in third as well. That's what we like to see. It wasn't perfect, but there was a lot of pressure on that. I was, I was two turns up at one point thinking, okay, we just need to carry this. Then I lost a bit. Huge pressure going to the final turns. Right, I'm going to go mediums, I think. I often go, go softs in these sprints, but I quite rarely start them from pole. So, uh, I mean, I'll have a look at the softs, but I'd have thought... It's just an unnecessary risk, isn't it? We should be able to, we should be able to win on mediums, so I'm not, I'm not going to take the risk. Uh, normally the AI, when you go up the rear inside, don't go wrong, if that was the race, that was all, all on me. Why, why have I stopped here as well? Am I going to start from here? Oh, there we go. Normally the AI, when you hit them, they give you room. Not when you hit them. When you go along the inside, they give you room. Almost always. So Norris is also starting me to back. Both me and Norris are now starting. Look, look, look at the gap there between his yellow line where his wheel should be and where his wheel actually is. It's like, it's over a meter, isn't it? It's like almost two meters it starts your face. It's absolutely brutal. Right, come on there, guys. Not an ideal formation lap there. If you can even call that formation lap. 72% channel points are going towards win as well. So it's big. We've got 37,000 channel points from Master Jamie towards win. I'll do what I can. Right, come on. Let's try and get put that formation lap behind us and have a good start here. That was not what the doctor ordered. Let's try and hold the inside line, though. Should be pretty quick in a straight once we get going. Oh, oh, been hit. Very aggressive move from someone behind me there. Lost three positions on that start. That's not ideal. We've got a bit of time to make up for it. I think we'll have good pace. Meanwhile, I'm sub. I start with the red ball. Without even realising it. Get in the bin. Uh, he's tried to hold there. I just tried to squeeze it. Worked out. Oh, maybe a bit of contact behind there. Not sure. Not feeling as good as it was in quality. What's going on? What is going on? Right, my teammate going to go for here? No, not quite yet, but he's very quick in a straight. I think as soon as DRS gets enabled, my teammate will go straight up to the lead, I reckon. There we go. We're going to get DRS. I don't know if I'm just not on the limit enough or what. I don't feel too bad now. Yeah, I was missing a few apexes and stuff at the start or breaking too early and stuff, but I feel right now. That was nice. The car was very much sliding through there, but we got it stopped nicely. Norris, if Russell has a dodgy exit from the, onto the start finish straight, might be able to nail him. Let him use the ERS. We'll get him next time. We should be quicker in a straight. Our teammate, is he close enough to Norris this time? Still not. Someone retiring, not sure who it is. Don't want a safety car right now because I'm hopefully about to nail Norris. I've been Russell. Hamilton's out. Pretty close to him now. Come use the ERS down this straight. Move done. Move done. Up to P3. Nice. Nice. He's done there. Still in the DRS range of the cars in front as well. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. That's positive. Up to P3. Are they going to be side by side here? It's going to be close. They are going to be side by side. That will slow them right down. Can we capitalise? Very deep by Norris. No. Can't capitalise without going full sending here. Don't want to do that on my teammate. All right. I'll have to burn a lot of this lap. To keep George Russell at bay. Oh, that was nice. Somehow the car didn't slide there. Do we try to do the same thing on our bottom? We did to Russell. Give him a bit more room. He's our teammate. Done. Up to P2. I think I've got DRS as well. I do. I do get DRS. I spurred to be arrested now, though. Whoa. Went down extra gear. Hold on. Ah! What are we doing? No! Okay. Can't show the race more than the overlay, Alex. Did I squeeze him too much? I did squeeze him too much! No, he's down to fourth! Ah! Very, very late, maybe. Oh, what am I doing? Very, way too late! Okay, I did stop and get DRS. Well, that was silly. That was wild. What am I doing? Compromise my race completely just to help out one. Maybe get an overtake on Russell. If I can get close enough, I might be able to get him into the... Down the start finish straight this lap, despite not really having any ERS to use. I'd love to get him in this lap, but I don't think we're close enough. How powerful is DRS? Do we go for it half a second back? Is that close enough? How powerful is DRS? We're about to find out. I think we're to do it, you know. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. DRS. DRS. He sent it back on me. No! Jesus! Jesus, Norris! What the hell was that? 
Oh my god! Right, big lap needed now. That was so aggressive by Norris. That was wild. Let's get nice and close now. Burning too much here, rest really, but I just want to get as close as possible. Right, we need, we need to nail him out now, really. I don't think we're going to get him after this. That's not ideal, though, through there. Not the best of exits. A bit close to the last lap. Here we now we burn at ERS. We haven't really got any to burn. He'll now start burning ERS after the line. Okay, we're a bit early this time. Hopefully we can get past him. Yeah, we're all good this time, I think. Right, up to the lead, up to the lead. He doesn't lunge on us that time, thankfully. And only that one's still behind George Russell. But now he'll be burning ERS this lap. And we haven't got any to burn. Hope you say a bit of ERS down this straight. Here he comes. Look, here's his burning ERS. Look, this is what we've got to be careful of. My word. What a lunge Norris did to us. It almost stopped us getting the win along with that bad start. But we fight our way back through. What a sprint race we've just had. 11 laps. And we take the win. Let's go. Let's go. Whew. That was not easy. That was not easy. What a race, though. What a race. It's just a sprint. We still got the feature race to go, but we do start it from pole. Unfortunately, we compromised our team, but he actually started in third. He's now going to start next one in fourth. He was actually up to second at one point in that race. We were hoping to always demote him down to third, but we let we let Russell back past him, unfortunately. So not ideal as a team game there, but we do take the dub. A little bit grey overhead, but no rain forecast. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, strategy then. Back on pole, but pole is annoying because look where you face. You face directly towards the grass. It's not ideal. Medium hard. Is it possible to make medium soft work? It might be. Hmm, the game thinks we're three laps away. That is a pretty decent chunk. What the AI on? Boring. Boring! I think we're gonna go medium hard. Let's do the same as what the AI are doing. No point changing anything too dramatically. That's two choices, really. I don't want to start hard, that's too risky. Not from pole. So we go medium soft or medium hard. If we can make it to lap 21, we can go soft, but unless we have a, you know, spin somewhere or something, that's probably too aggressive. We just go medium hard like everyone else is. I need to point it a little bit. Uh, why is it red? Oh. No. Ah, no! It said 0 0.2! No! Ah, oh, as if. I angled it slightly, just a little bit, but I went to 0 0.2 and it didn't like it because of my angle. Brutal. Okay, well, same situation as last time now, guys. Our tyres might be a little bit cold. I'll get the tyre wear tyre temperature indicator up on the start so you can keep an eye on it. Come on. Better start than last time, please. Most certainly is a better start than last time. We should hopefully hold on to the lead here. Which you love to see. Absolutely love to see it. Super out the brakes. I knew they would be too. Bit of contact behind. Lovely. That's more like it. That's the start we needed last time. Albert unfortunately doesn't gain anything there. Maybe I'll be side by side into here. Right, let's keep it calm now. Let's keep it calm. We don't need to be, be silly about it now. Let's just keep it on track. They are as they are behind. There was lots of side by side, possibly even some contact, but... They will get through it well enough in the same positions. All right, do we try and run away with, with Norris so that Albon can get past Russell? I think we probably do. Norris is closing back in on me a little bit now, but that's okay. That's sort of what I wanted, but he's not actually pulling a gap to George Russell. Slightly annoyingly. I think we'll probably just try and break the DRS. Get away. I'm not pushing too hard right now. I'm pushing a bit more than I was last lap. Stop trying to help your teammate and focus on winning your bottle. Yeah, but it's a, you know, I want to win both championships this season. And Albon may need a bit of help. Look, we've recently still a bit of pace in hand. Yeah, fuel should be okay. Try to try my quick. 10% calculations. Oh, they could be side-by-side. They are going to be side-by-side. Is Albon going to be able to capitalise on this? We'll see. It's all about Albon this race. I feel quite comfortable right now. It's not guaranteed we win the race, of course, but I do feel quite comfortable. You know, we're still holding on to Russell, to Russell right now, but Russell does seem quick. Russell's coming with us now. Russell's the one that's got the pace right now. Well, I'd love for him to put a one-second gap, because that means our teammates should be able to get past Norris. Let's just keep it calm. Keep it calm. Double win today would be absolutely lovely. Worked hard for the one last time. This one's looking a bit easier right now. Let's hope that remains the case. The thing is, if he gets in DRS range, we're going to struggle to get back out. They're side by side, Norris and my teammate. Come on, Narbon. You can do it. You can do it. He's got it. He's got it. But no DRS. Is that is Norris going to snap straight back? Hopefully not. Small gap. Half a second between Albon and Norris. Is that enough? I think that might be. If it was the other way around, it wouldn't be enough. Okay, about seven tenths now between Albon and Norris. Let's see what Albon's raw pace is like now. Well, he's not in dirty air or DRS. Very close to it. Warnings there. Yeah, 18-6. 18-3 for Albon. Last lap, he closed in by three tenths. Back up to George Russell. Now, of course, he is going to drag Albon with him. I don't think Albon realistically... Sorry, uh, Norris with him. I don't think Norris will realistically drop out of the RS range unless he makes quite a big mistake. That's okay. He does look, he does look like he's able to stay ahead because of a good straight line speed. So if he can be a bit quicker than Russell, I think he can get up to Russell. I reckon he can even take, overtake Russell. Oh, so deep. Just ease off there. Back off a little bit as well. All right, teammates got... What, about half a second, six tenth gap? That should be enough. 
Oh yeah, we're talking about fuel, are we? What's, what's the situation with fuel then? It is, it, I'm not going to say it's marginal, but it is being burned pretty quickly. I think we're okay, just about. But we may need to save a tiny, tiny amount. 81, that's a bit more like it. We'll drop behind. Also an 81, teammate. 18 two. okay. So suddenly, George Ross was come alive a little bit. I think he maybe made a mistake. It was a little bit slower, but suddenly he's got some good pace now. We've got a little bit in the, in the back pocket. When are you boxing? Probably just whatever the game suggests, because that would be about what the AI box is. I don't want to get undercut by anyone, lose some positions. I also don't want to get any traffic. So I'll probably wait till after the first batch of AI boxes, because, again, they're very predictable. They're all boxed within two laps, generally. No, not always, but most of the time they're all boxed within two laps. 18-3 for us last lap. Oh, another yellow flag! What am I doing? Do the shot by the yellow flag. Okay, okay. Pull up here. Let's get it back in order. There's an Aston Martin off the track. He just had a whoopsie because it looks like he's continuing. Right, get into the pit stop phase now, guys. Let's have a big push here. I suspect that means half the AI will box this lap. The other half will box next lap. Another yellow. Is that the Aston Martin again? The same thing. He's done that twice now. It's Latifi. Oh, of course it's Latifi. Amazing. Does Russell pit? He doesn't. That's good. He wouldn't be able to undercut me. Oh, no one pits, actually. I might stay out again. I, just, I don't want to risk getting traffic. Anything can happen in traffic. We've got a comfortable lead right now. I don't want to risk it. I'm going to stay out one more lap. He's done it again. Latifi's done it again. Is he all right? Why don't you pit, mate? Your tyres are gone. <laughs> That's the third time he's done that. It's the exact same thing. Your tyres are gone, buddy. Just box. That's so weird. Right, TA boxes, as does the McLaren. Russell doesn't, interestingly. Three second gap to George Russell right now. He'll push me on his in-lap, though. He'll use a bit of ERS. Right. We could even go for the softs, but it's just, you just don't need to risk it. We're, we're chilling. We're chilling. Things might change a little bit on the hards. AI might be quick on hards relative to mediums compared to me. But we'll see. Right, don't break late. Uh... Oh. Okay, I thought I'd break late and I did. We survived it. Okay, everybody should box this lap. We should retain the lead. No problem at all. Where's my teammate? He's still behind the McLaren, but he's chilling. No pit stop issue today. Nice big gap. In fact, that gap looks like that's come up. 2.3 seconds stop. Very good stop from the boys. Don't think my teammate or Norris will be able to undercut Russell, unfortunately, because they had that big battle just before they came in. So they lost a second or two for doing that. Here they come. I will reclaim third. They'll be nowhere near George Russell. Right, here we go, guys. Russell closing on me right now. They're always, you know, the second they come out of the tyres, they're on it. They know how quick they can go. And they use ERS. So that outlap's always absolutely lightning. Look at him, he's down to a second. What's going on? Hello, George Russell. A bit of ERS to use. Hopefully it's just an ERS burn for him. Let's see. 17.4 for my teammate. Yeah, 72. Well, not much. 17.3, though. I'll do a purple final sector, so... Turned up. And he's done it again. Latifi's done it again. Is he going to recover right in front of us? No, he's still recovering. We're okay. But the more he does that, the more likely it is to be a safety car. Because he would do it at some point. Oh, no, he's rejoining in front of our teammate. Well, that could cause some carnage. Very distracted by it as well. A three wide. We're okay. We're okay. And then he does it again. How have they made Latifi? He's not even spun in that corner yet. How have they made Latifi this real? What? He just put new tyres on. It's not his tyres. Oh, God. Now George Russell's close. Fortunate AI don't get distracted. George Russell is closing in on us. <gasps> oh, very close. That could have easily been a three-second tyre penalty. Oh. A bit wobbly through there. Deep in there as well. Oh, safety car. Latifi binned it and caused a safety car. I knew it. What's wrong with his car? Is this DRS stuck open or something? No, it's not. What is wrong with his car? Binned it there. How has he binned it there? No, 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 no. Definitely not boxing. We will save a bit of fuel though, because the fuel was getting marginal. Was too strong a word, but it was not looking amazing. Well, that's neutralised the race again. Our team went fortunately fourth, not third. Which is a shame, because I think you'd be able to stick with Russell and get DRS and maybe get second. But unfortunately, he did drop behind the McLaren before that happened. A safety car. I don't often get these, but the amount of Latifi was crashing. It was always quite light. That's going to have the whole field to bunch up again, though. But it's really about me versus Russell. He had, he had very good pace on these tyres. This should, in theory, generally speaking, the AI wear the tyres the same under a safety car as they do under racing conditions. And the player does not. So normally, you get a slight advantage against AI in these sort of conditions. 
bad restart. A little bit of a gap to the cars behind him. Quick in a straight as well. Should be able to run away down this straight. Goodbye. Goodbye. Only going to be up to a second, but we know George Russell's quick on these tyres, so I need to keep pushing and keep him away. Come on. Ten laps to go. Look at look how much George Russell's just gained on me through those couple of corners. He's so quick at the moment. Why is he so quick on these tyres, dude? He will be burning ERS on this lap. He won't do so much on the next lap, but even so. He's, he's, he's caught by half a second over the course of this lap. That's mad. Oh, look how quick he is, man. I don't think I can get away from George Russell, you know. Okay, well, we're outside a second, but look at the ERS. That's 25%. We didn't even get fast lap of the race. Come on, come on, come on. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Let's keep going. No DRS, just by less than a, well, by just under two tenths. Fortunately, the car's pad also get DRS on George Russell, though, so our teammate won't be able to make it through. We need to find some kind of time in the corners. So we're about to give up some time in the straights due to lack of DRS. So miles on track limits, but I have to push. Oh, push the track limits, but I have to. Could be able to be, see some drama. If they go side by side, that'll help me massively. I don't think it's quite going to happen, is it, down this straight? No DRS given to the cars pilot at any point this race. Let's keep that up. No fastest lap right now, though. I'd love to get a fastest lap, but without the, without ERS, there's no way. Why well, have we gone to fifth? Don't we do that. Now, cars pilot are pretty close to each other. If they go side by side down this straight, they'll battle, and that'll pretty much decide the race, which I would not mind right now, because I'm having to push pretty hard. Alonso's battling for P5, so that will guarantee our teammate P4. Unless he has a whoopsie. It's not impossible on this track. Maybe it's an engine failure. It's going to be very close. Not the best of exits. Needs to use some ERS here. And brake late. You might get it here. It's going to be close. Did brake late. And I did manage to keep out DRS range. But only just. George Russell is absolutely rapid. At this stage of the race. Right. Big lap needed, guys. We need to. I want to recharge DRS to go for fastest lap. But I can't do that. He's a bit close to this lap. Not by much. Oof, that was close. So was that. I want to recharge, but I can't. I don't think I can get fast enough here, guys. But the win is more important than fastest lap. Right. Big push. Until the end. Let's see if we can recharge. Try not to use DRS, but I'm not going to risk him getting DRS on us at this late stage. Promise if I let him in DRS range. Or do you get him out of it again by breaking super late? If I let him in DRS range, he's going he's to be able to match my fast lap no matter what I do. This is the problem. I do manage to recharge with that lap, though, guys. Not by much. He's having an DRS burn lap. We have to burn it. If we give him DRS on the last lap, he's going he's gonna to be our fastest lap. Oh, I'll tell you what, he did make a bit of a mistake. Can we sneak out outside DRS still? He's going to be close. He's very late again. We did. Yeah, we didn't. He doesn't get DRS still. Right. We've got a bit of DRS to use. We go for fastest lap now. We go for fastest lap now. we got a little bit. Is it enough? We'll see. Purple final sector, 17-5. No DRS for George Russell. The wind should be in the bag, provided we don't have a trend of its warning. But let's go for the extra point as well. Let's make it a perfect race. This is close, man. I'm glad we turned the AI up. This has made this really marginal and really fun. Oh, keep it track limits just. Just don't get track limits warning now. Left a little bit of margin on the table there just to make sure I didn't get track limits warning. He's not even going to DRS on the final lap. We have got pretty good pace, but it's not enough to get fast to slap, unfortunately. But round of the final turn, we managed to keep it clean enough. And it's going to be the race win. It's going to be the race win. And it is fastest lap. And George Russell managed to beat it, though. I think we might have stolen fast lap on the end. But what a race that was, guys. What a race that was. Whew. My word, I had to push for that. We did leave, lead every lap. We never gave a car behind us DRS. On the face of it, it seems dominant. It seems easy. It was anything but. We had to push hard for that. <sighs> track limits as well. The last, what was it, 10 laps or so? One more off track. We'd have got a three-second time penalty. There's no way we could have pulled out a three-second gap George Russell. No way. No way. Do we still fast snap, though, or does George Russell see it off, back off us on the final lap? It would be a very marginal one. Uh, we get 25. Who gets it? Who gets it? Oh. <laughs> very good. Pierre Gasly, despite DNFing on the last lap, I think, does a 103. But to be fair, George Russell would have got it anyway. He went about a tenth and a bit quicker than us on that final lap. I'd say that one did as well with the DRS, to be fair. So it wouldn't have mattered, but none, none, none of us get it because of a glitch. Very good. Very good. And there it is, guys. We now lead the championship by nine points. Big race weekend today. Only 15 points to George Russell, though, who is going to be a big contender. We have got no more facility upgrades to do. The Mercedes will be quicker than our car by the end, and it very nearly already is. Very nearly already is. So, look, we just need to keep scoring the points. 
We need to keep scoring the points, hoping for the best. Constructors as well. We increase our lead quite handsomely in that now. Up to 34 points. Again, similar sort of thing there, though. Hamilton had a bit of a dodgy day after retiring from the, from the sprint. Uh, so he ends up in the feature. He recovers to P11. Not quite a point for Hamilton. Thank you for joining me today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that race. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy those sore races too, because as I said, they feel great when you drive them. But, you know, obviously it's always better to watch someone come from the back and make loads of overtakes and that kind of thing and, and take a risky strategy. It's always a bit more entertaining to watch. I get that. But hopefully you guys still enjoy those kind of races because, yeah, double win today and we had to work for both of them. None of them were easy. It seems double on the face of it. It was anything but in reality.